In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create five different types of animations and interactions in Wix Studio that could take your design to the next level. So let's dive in. Here, as you can see, I have a static web page with no animations and interactions. And together, we are going to animate some of these elements and some of these sections to take this project to the next level. The first thing I'm going to animate is this nav bar. OK, as you can see, I have a nav bar with a transparent background here and it's not sticky. OK, and as I scroll down, it's not disappearing and that's problematic. So let's fix this issue first. What I'm going to do is make this nav bar disappear as I scroll. OK, so to do that, I can just select this particular header here. And here in the design panel, I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, I have a section called scroll effect. OK, with two options, transition and fill color. To create this effect, we are going to need the transition option. So I'm going to turn it on. And here I have two different options. I have the move transition and the fade transition. OK, I'm going to set it to fade because I want this element to fade away as I scroll. OK, and here we have two properties to set. We have the delay and duration. I'm going to leave them as they are. I think they are good. Now let's preview this transition. Let me start scrolling down like this. And as you can see, it fades out just like this. Perfect. But wait, you might say, what about the tablet and mobile versions? Well, the good news is when you make an element animated in one breakpoint, like the desktop breakpoint, it cascades down to smaller breakpoints as well. So if I head over to tablet and I scroll down, as you can see, it works perfectly. The same thing applies to mobile, just like this. Perfect. So now let's move on to the second type of animation. Here, as you can see, I have this visual cue. We have this arrow icon, but it's static. It's not animated. So let's animate it together. To animate this icon, first I'm going to select it. Let me just double click on it. And next, we need to head over to the interactions panel right here. Here is where you can create many different types of interactions and animations. For this animation, I'm going to use this loop because I want this animation to repeat again and again and again. So I'm going to open it up. And from here, I'm going to hit this add button. And here is where you can choose the type of animation you're looking for. Here we have pulse, we have breathe, we have spin, we have poke, etc. For this icon, I just wanted to move down a few pixels and return to its initial position. So for that, I think this breathe animation looks good. And we are basically done. So let's preview our animation. OK, I think it looks good, but we just need to adjust it to make it look even better. Here I'm going to click on this breathe animation that we just created. And I'm going to hit adjust animation right here. And here is where you can control different properties of this animation, such as distance, duration, the delay, and also the easing method to make it look more realistic. OK, here, as you can see, the distance is set to 25 pixels. I think we can decrease this amount. Let me just decrease it. The minimum number is 10 pixels. The duration looks good. I don't want it to be too fast and I can just preview it. All right, it's much better now. OK, so far, so good. Now let's move on to the third type of animation. I'm going to scroll down here. Here for this section, I'm going to create an entrance animation. So as soon as this card, this section enters the viewport, the animation starts. OK, and what I'm going to do is make these text fade in and move down. And also, I want this learn how button to fade in and move up. To do that, we just need to select these elements. I'm going to start by selecting this text. OK, and head over to the interactions panel. And from here, we need to create an entrance animation. So I'm going to hit add. And here we need to choose the type of animation. We have fade, we have reveal, we have slide, etc. But since I want it to fade in and move at the same time, I'm going to go with float. OK, I'm going to set it to float just like this. I'm going to select this text as well and just add an animation. Let's select float like this. Let's select this text and just repeat the same thing and this button as well. I'm going to add a float animation to it. 
okay? The only thing we need to change is the direction of the animation. So here if I preview it, I think it looks pretty good, but I just want to show you how you can modify the direction. So let's change the direction of these texts from bottom to top to top to bottom, okay? So I'm just going to select this text and as soon as I select it, you'll see this little icon indicating that there is an interaction for this particular element. So here I'm just going to click on the animation and from here I'm going to hit adjust animation and just change the direction to from above, just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for these texts as well, quickly, like this and for this text as well. I'm going to set it to from above. Let's preview it once again. There we go. Now it looks very good. Okay, if I keep scrolling down, you will see these sections as well. Here we have three white cards and also we have this sectors card, but nothing here is animated. Well, what we can do is go ahead and animate these texts as well, but you know how to do it, so I'm not going to repeat that. Instead, I'm going to show you how to create a sticky element. So as you scroll down, these cards one by one should stick to the top edge of your screen. It's going to be so cool. So let me show you how it's done. First, I'm going to start by this section. I'm just going to select this section. And I'm going to head over to the design panel. And from here, I'm going to head over to the position section. Here, as you can see, we have a property called position type. And by default, it's set to default. I'm going to change it to sticky. And here, I'm going to set it to top because I want it to stick to the top edge of my viewport. And that's all. Let's preview it. I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, as soon as it reaches the top edge of my screen, like this, it starts sticking. And that's exactly what we need. So now let's do the same thing for these white cards. I'm just going to select these cells one by one, head over to the position section and just set the position to sticky. I'm going to go ahead and do this for all these cells and I'm going to fast forward this process. Let me scroll down. Okay, as you can see, as I scroll down, these cards stick to the top edge one by one on top of each other, just like that. And that's exactly what we needed. Okay, now let's move on to the next type of animation, which is the hover animation. So imagine you want to create this animation. When you hover over this card on the left side, this image scales up. How can you do that? It's so simple. First, you need to select this cell on the left side as your trigger, head over to the interaction section, and from here, I'm going to click on hover, okay? Let's add an animation, and here we have animated element. By default, it's set to self, so you can animate your trigger, but in this case, I want to animate another element. To do that, you can just open up this drop-down menu, and from here, you can select the element you want to animate. Here I have this image, I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the animation to expand since I want it to scale up, just like that. Okay, let's preview it. I'm going to hover over this card and as you can see, this image scales up and down, just like that. And you can go ahead and recreate the same animation for all the other cards. If you want to learn more about Wix Studio and take your web design business to the next level, make sure to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.